Colin Townsend, the shortstop, will lead things off here for Iowa. And with this pitch, we're underway. <laughs> Santman is at first. And this ball is to center field. That's where Mason Edwards is, and he makes a nice play on it. Into right, that's going to be a fair ball for Swanson. He steps on first, and the throw in is cut off. Double for Swanson, third hit at the Little League World Series. Look at it from Umcam on a 2 2. Chases, he's gone. They'll throw down. Watch the runner go to third. The runner advances to third base. Here we go, two outs, right? Yeah, no, I did go there. <laughs> Just off the end of the bat, and another two-strike hit, and an RBI for Ballinger. It is 1-0 Iowa. Ballinger's been the guy. We talked about Iowa's hitter just kind of battling, and again, not a hard hit. This is just go out, reach for it, get it, find grass. It's exactly what Iowa did in their last game. This has been their offense, and grab with two strikes. Yes. That ain't easy. Right back to him. He's got some time. And he goes to first in time. Nice play by Major Rodarty. We'll get a good look at it right here. They are likely going to overturn this and call him safe. Oh, here we got, now we got two hands, so we're going to need a boat. <laughs> Where are we going here? That is a swing ball gets away. They throw it down, then they throw it into right field. Oh, my goodness. What a huge break for Iowa. Jace Abe had it, and he had time, and Santman had no chance to catch that baseball. Ball. That one gets by, coming in from third. Andreessen, tag is late. It's 3 nothing. Iowa. On the hill and left to see what that number was. This one, the second nice play. And that is made by Adam Shannon. Right now, he's working at a quick clip. And he picks up his first strikeout. Of course, people are awful. Second base, Jeremiah Grise. Picking up your fried dough, your chicken fingers, and a baseball. That one is to right field. It sends Ketman back, and then he comes back in. And that may have been the wind that knocked that thing down. It didn't bother Quinn Ketman at all. Ain't no thing. Bishop is gone. Strikeout number two for Rodarte. And Quinn Ketman is the right fielder. That's on a hop, and it gets under the glove of Parker Workman. The tweeter there was yeah. going to stay up in the air or get on the ground. That's one is laced to left. Ezra Seitz is going back. Yes, sir! Oh, he stuck out that arm, and the ball found the glove. Ezra Seitz, play of the day. That a boy. Boy, anytime you can get your second baseman, your third baseman to run out to left field after it, you know you made a play like this. The most of it, you know. And did you make the most of it? Well, we, we, we gave our best. We, did, we didn't finish first, but that's okay. Four hundred percent. With the off speed, seven times they've swung and missed already. He's got three punch outs. Your connection to the story. Well, I played ball in Chicago. I think there you go. <laughs> and where does Route 66 go? Right off the older drive. <laughs> Games that stretched it to about 30 35. This one is down the line. Hang on a second, Fergie. May have a little action. Rounding is Luke Vincent, who will be held at third on a good double by Owen Everhart. Ends up that that team that I photographed oh, on opening day that's made it to the Little League World Series. Stay here. Well, you know, the, the game to me. Uh, has, has changed a lot because four or five years ago, 100 pitches you could stay in the game, right. not 65 to 80. Worked out so well, they kept him around. There's the first hit, Chase Abe for Washington. They kept him around for like three years, and they wanted him to go into February, and he's like, i got to get to spring training. Yeah. 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 Back 
up the middle, it gets into the outfield. Striker strikes, he's at first. Abay to second, that's a pinch hit, and it's a successful one. Off speed, he waited on it on the ground. And the throw across the diamond from Colin Townsend is made. 6-3 ends it, they will strand a couple. Oh, and he worked the walk. Reach base now for the second time. That's high, and here he goes. Swanson down to second base. Now in scoring position. Way inside, gets all the way to the backstop, and look out, the throw down to third. Gets past it into the outfield. And that will allow Swanson to come in and score. Washington has really hurt themselves. As it's 4 nothing. Pitch of this at bat. Oh, and he lays that one to center field. Yes, sir. Mason Edwards has been outstanding out there. He got a great read. Slid. And got himself a web gem. Back up the middle. Hard hit. And Brayden Rudolph is aboard. First time they've had the leadoff hitter. This is two strikes. Here we go. Lifts one to left field. That's going to be good enough for a hit in front of Ballinger. And it's first and second. There's nobody out. So Washington started this Little League World Series, guys. One for 23. And they are now since four for six. Brody Santman. That ball's hammered to right field. Kedman's not going to get there. It bounces off the wall. Rudolph is in. And Ferguson did not get a good read on it. Now he's in a pickle. And there's no Second is Sandman. Well, that was a near disaster that turned out okay for Washington. Watch the leg kick, too. Sandman gets a lot of pop because of what he can do, but watch Liam Ferguson stay at first base. In fact, let's go. Sandman almost passed him. They got within two feet of each other. Then it's thrown behind them, and thank goodness no one's at third base is able to get back. Oh, nope. Bases are loaded. The environment's maybe a little bit bigger than it is, but morning, good afternoon, good night right there. That is a great start coming in at a tough spot. Townsend, one of seven pitchers used during the regionals, and this one is into shallow left field. Is anybody going to get there? Yes, and now they get a runner off second. That's a double play. Found Grise and off second base was Santman. A huge double play. And Colin Townsend comes in and ends the threat. To the right. Left field, well hit. Sights, he can't do it again. Made one great catch, and this one just sneaks over his glove. And in the second base is Owen Everhart with a double. He has reached three times today. There's maybe Owen Everhart gets bumped up. In the batting orders, he now moves to third base on a pass ball. Three two with two outs on the ground under the glove of the third baseman. Long throw. Grise safely one scores. Everhart makes it five to one. Really tough play. Abe did everything he could, but Grise beat it out. He puts the bat on that one. Shallow left field and a single. So Blake Bishop in the bottom of the order now delivering first and second. Two. Ball. Oh. The catcher slipped. That ball appeared to hit, I thought, a helmet, but maybe nothing. Grise will get back. They get a run. There's a lot of noise at home played on that pitch. Did. A walk to Townsend brings up Swanson. Right field. Ferguson got a good jump and a good read, and he's there to make the play. Swanson slaps his hand. They'll leave three. One, two, three. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, no. 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 Oh, Mike Trout.
sends this one to center. Everhart going back. He can't get it. And Siebert to second. He's in there with the double. Ferguson lurking. That's better, and he's in there, and that is a 3-2 hook that he gets him with. Single. His last time up, puts this one in play. This is going to be a tough play. And Grisey can't get there. Rounding third and coming in. Let's go in the second run. Good speed, good lead. Now down to second. And safe there is Rudolph. 3-2. That's ball, outside. Ball, ball four. Bit more. Just don't like seeing anybody waste. Yeah, this is in the right. That's going to get down. Rudolph will step on third. He's being waved in. He's safe. Another run for Washington. And it's 6-3. playing towards center. Instead, it's to the shortstop, and it's off the glove of the shortstop. The bases are loaded. Oh, Mason McFate. And one of those knuckleballs off the bat didn't get there as quickly as he thought. And they are loaded first. Rodarte is late. Good job by Townsend. They will leave him loaded. McFate battling one and two. Late there, that's a strikeout. Andreessen on the ground, a short, really good charge by Workman who throws across. And Abe hits the first one to third. Blake Bishop, really good player by the third baseman. And now a good count for Siebert. Oh, and now he's on base. That's the second out. Outside. That's ball four. That's outside. Everybody was waiting for the call, and it took a long time for David Brown to make the call. In the dirt, and both runners will. No, now we got ourselves a pickle. We got two runners caught. They'll throw to third. Sice keeps this up for another minute. The other runner can go back to first. He's just standing there at second, so there's no option for Sykes, who gets tagged out. It ended up being Fisher Siebert who was caught in the jam. Sykes was the guy standing on second. Iowa does a nice job to try to console him. But he had no option but to get to third base. He had his teammate Ezra Stites standing on second.